Hey folks, I'm with the winner of the 50,000 Amateur World Championship, Jason Reed. He rode Cheetahs Cats Marada. Congratulations to you. Boy, thank you. Yes. How does it feel to be a world champion? Oh, it's a dream come true, I guess. You know, uh, I didn't realize it was uh, going to feel as exciting as it does. I, I try to be humble because humility is not a strong point of mine. But I, <laughs> Yeah. Well, you very, got a, very good. You got a great cat crowd out here in the the water arena. They get pumped. They get into it. Um, it's quite a thing, really, to win in front of them. I'd imagine. Yeah, they're just screamers, you know. Uh, the whole crowd's hollering and screaming, and you have to shut that out and go work your horse. Yeah. So, how is it? What's it like to compete there in the water arena? You've got that crowd going. You've got to concentrate on the job you're doing. Tell us about your go rounds. Yeah, the bright lights are quite a little different than all the shows it took to get here. Uh, and it is fun that it's a go around building up, but uh, the real nuts and bolts of it or the uh, real enjoyable part of it was all the hauling and all the shows that we went to and all the small towns and large towns all over the United States to get here. Yeah, yeah. the year as a whole is obviously very satisfying. What stands out? Uh, Oklahoma City was a wonderful show, a, a big show and a big win for me. And uh, after that show, it gave me a lot of confidence to go and show anywhere in the world anytime. So uh, the confidence builder of that show um, spurred me on so that this wasn't such a, uh, I guess, uh, adrenaline rush or spooky thing, you know? Okay. Yeah. yeah, so it all came together really for you in that moment, and, and now you can put it together at the finals. Yeah, yeah, just build on the little things that, it, and grew a lot, learned a lot about the business, about the showing, you know, uh, about the competition. What did you learn? What do you think were the big takeaways from this year? Uh, patience, confidence. Yeah, consistency. Uh, I didn't have a lot of big wins. Um, a pretty good win in Las Vegas. And that's in Oklahoma City was my biggest dollar wins. But I won an awful lot of uh, small shows and and a lot of seconds and thirds at some big shows. And so the cum uh, cu uh, the total of it, the consistency, really, is so incredibly important. Yeah, I had um, another world champion tell me they'd rather come second at every show than, you know, win one occasionally because that's the key, consistency. Yeah, it was the consistency that got me here, there's no doubt. That's correct. Mm -hmm. and tell us about your horse and how he held up over the year. Uh, Cheetah's Cats Murata, very nice mare, big strong mare. I bought her in March. I had a half-brother to her that I was showing before then. I started out the year on Cat Pep, which is a Cats Murata uh, gilding. He was a really nice horse too and strong, um, not necessarily trained to the same level that this uh, Cheetah's Cats Marauder Mary is. When I got her, she hadn't been showed for about 24 months, so she needed some uh, tuning up. Uh, a good friend of mine, Greg Jolly, uh, came alongside of me and really helped me with that horse um, every day. And uh, from the time that I started showing her in probably June, she just steadily got better and better and better. We've hauled her a long, long ways. I'd unload her at uh, Batesville, Mississippi and show her for four days and jump her back on the trailer and be to the next show the next morning, you know, a thousand miles away or whatever. We drove up and she was a real strong trooper, no uh, uh, habits that made her hard to handle or hard to show. She just got better every time I showed her. Was it the horse that really made you decide to haul this year? Or what did you have to consider before you really made that commitment oh that's a beautiful question to make to haul like this I had to give up a lot of things and uh, uh, God willing things fell together for me I've got a business in a ranch in western South Dakota where my daughter and son-in-law were able to come up and take over management and there's the full operation of that business so I could be away from that uh, my uh, sweet little wife drove my goodness 80,000 miles in a F-350 Ford pickup you know with a trailer hooked on it and so we drove over places where before I'd be in traffic where I was uh, leery about going. Now it's not a big deal with a pickup and trailer. So, uh, yeah, all of those things had to come together. It's uh, kind of odd that this is an individual sport, and I win it, I get the award. But that's not really how it is. It's a team effort, 